I'm from Virginia. This doesn't happen there. We'll pick you up, Donut said. This is like a three mile dirt road. I want y'all to know that. All right, never mind. He sent somebody. We're good. We're good. Oh, look. It's my camera guy. Let's look at everyone. Caleb Umpaville, he's amazing. We have Brandon Herrera, of course. Oh, nice. We have Zeus, who he's either a fed, cartel, whatever, I don't know, something like that. He's a rapper, though. Very amazing person, one of my new best friends. We have Caleb Francis out here, too. We have Tweak, plays a lot of Tarkov. Yeah, just a whole group of like really good friends, and uh, Caleb Umpaville, he's never been out here before, so we're just gonna have a good range today. I also have never done a vlog on this channel where I had someone else filming for me. So it's kind of fucking weird. I never have a camera guy. Finn, though, he took time off of fucking ladyboys in Thailand to come hang out with me. So. Just for you. Just for me. Just for you, Donna. <laughs> That's awesome. I know the title says last range day, but it's the last range day of the year. It's not our last range day. Everyone's going to be parting ways next week and going to their their families. But today, we're having a boys day. We're just having a good range day before the end of the year. Last range day of 2022. Well, not if Heather comes, it wouldn't be a boys day. But You know what? She's, you. she's more of a boy than most boys, though. Let's be honest. She's the only funny female in the world, too. So <laughs> I love her cock, too. Great boy. I is it joke. weird that I feel awkward when I'm being filmed by someone else because I never do it? You should still put your arm like this so it just looks yeah, like you have like a 10 foot like arm. Like grabbing his balls. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just do this for comfort. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> no, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> What you have to do to unlock that skin? This is 500 headshots. So is that a shotgun with the grenade launcher attachment? Yeah, or? dude, it's got the grenade launcher attachment on it. It kills like 500 ghost babies and stuff like that or something. It weighs as much as 10 boxes you would move with. Semi fully automatic, some shit like that. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty neat. That's not bad at all. Yeah, it doesn't sound like no country. But yeah. It's pretty cool. Where are you from? Ireland. Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Just What's moved legal here like there? a month and a half ago. You moved to Texas? <laughs> yeah. Shoo! Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Texas. Thanks. Basically, we come out here like three times a week, so we don't need to shoot very much. We just love bringing our friends out here to shoot the cool guns. Tacos feed my body. But this feeds my soul. Oh, 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 fuck! <laughs> Thoughts? Suggestions? Uh, I probably should have had double ear pro, <laughs> to be honest. The very rare ear ringing with ear pro in. The recoil is not bad, it's the ee Yeah, yeah. It's bad. So uh, Tweaks over there is shooting some fully automatic weapons right now with Caleb Umbaville, Brandon Herrera, and uh, as as my my buddy shooting here, old Finn said he's kind of speed running America at this point. He moved here from Ireland like two months ago. Tweak, check him out on uh, tw Twitch. Here's the wall. I got him. One of the better Tarkov players on there, super entertaining guy. But we took him to his first Thanksgiving and like Caleb Francis made a huge Thanksgiving feast and we've been taking him to range days and yeah, like a lot of Americans don't experience this shit. And then he comes over here from Ireland and he's like, fully automatic machine guns, it's fucking rad. I mean, the theme of the day is just showing my friends a good time. That's what the Second Amendment's really about. That's what the Second Amendment is about. A good time and shooting people. <laughs> well, I mean, that is a good time, too. Hot boys. <laughs> I have to die to carry my cock. Oh my. You're not America. Paying, by the way. What are we doing with this? I don't know. We just he wanted to bring it out. <laughs> hey Brandon, you want to shoot this it's one? This yeah, one. fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice cock, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> what is the purpose of this? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, just to show right? people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we told her Brandon. Just showing friends our massive dick. Hey, just in case, but not as useful as they thought. <laughs> it's afraid. <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> All right. Hey Brandon, can you show me how to fire this one? Yeah, sure. Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. <laughs> Oh, 
my ears. <laughs> my ears, yeah. Fuck. Dear God. <laughs> Sitting here, mouth breathing and fucking all of all this stuff. I'm from Virginia. This doesn't happen there. This is way better, dude. <laughs> Just like bust smile like lip with a dick. <laughs> I haven't done the vlog channel in like three months. This is also full auto? So I haven't even this shown this. <laughs> this one okay. out there. Um, this one's full auto. He lost. Full auto. <laughs> lost his cover. Lost full auto. He's got his tweet right here. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I would expect that gun to do fucking nothing else. So it runs about as well as Beto did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shooting a piece of fucking shit, bro. I know. That makes me so happy this doesn't work. It just, it's very fitting. That that golden shower is my favorite part of that fucking oh. run. He's <laughs> squirting out. <laughs> oh, party, man. <laughs> they make black ones, too. Are they the same size as this one? Yep, yeah. Oh, that's not fair. There's no British helicopters over there. So we go. I see one. There's one right there. <laughs> I swear to God, there's one. It feels like home. <laughs> Car bomb that helicopter tweak right now. <laughs> He's got a ramp. <laughs> How else am I supposed to get the car in the air? I know you have my fucking potatoes. Uh, I'll it's shoot. your cock. I'll, I'll start hot. The tip would make it look like it has hypospadias. What the fuck's that? Why the fuck science, you know man? It's when you have like the wrong pee hole. Do you have three dick holes? No, man. Then? No, but we're gonna give this guy several. It is not easy to draw on a cock. Turns out. <laughs> oh wow, it is hard to draw on a fucking dick. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Damn, right in the oh, middle. <laughs> but yeah, some part of that really <laughs> did feel wrong. Huh? Suck the poison out. <laughs> so, are you going for a ball shot? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I was just going to say draw on the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like grandma. Your grandma has balls? Oh! oh! You blackened my cock! Oh, oh, oh. You son of a bitch! Oh, oh no. Oh, I've heard gonna... of blackface, what's that? Anybody else just wanna like, be like a boa constrictor and unhinge their jaw around this fucking thing? Or is that, is that just fucking me? Anybody else wanna fucking suck this thing? Fellas, is it gay to suck dick? Pretty cool. gonna hang right here, you know. That's gonna be your your rules. Right. And yeah. You wanna talk about staying up real late at a night of drinking and then you can wake up early and get in the sauna for a long time and jump in here and it's like you never drank in your life. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. How long did you sit in there for? Uh, seven minutes today. Going in my back hurt and now my back doesn't hurt so wow. something good came out of it. That's awesome. <laughs> This thing is awesome. Yeah. This is, as crazy as it is, I, I end up using it a lot more because it's it's very quick to jump on something if you want it cinematic. And then over here you have every cable attached to it. And so it's like, yeah. you know, because everybody's, when, when we're here, it's like, oh, I, I, I don't have the cable for, for my mic. Or, oh, all right, well, we got it. Over all the years, like, we do that. We've done that exact play. Someone would come into town, We'd have to find a place for him to stay, and then we would pull our camera bags out and be like, all right, what are we doing? What are we gonna make? What are we gonna do? So it was like, my whole concept behind this was trying to create something. Once you, beca once you got behind the gates, you don't have to leave. Yeah. You got the gym, you got your own space when you're staying here, and then the bar to hang out in, but then we have all of this to jump in the cars or the razors or the go-karts or whatever it is and go film something crazy fun and have at it. <laughs> <laughs> 
During the summertime, you got the fucking pool. With yeah, the amazing pool view. In the back. <laughs> it's like, amazing. Epic, epic property. Hell yeah! <laughs> Behind the wall. <laughs> Just the stairs. Who would have thought the guy that owns the skate shop skateboards sometimes? Oh no! Every once in a while. I can't do shit anymore. That's it. That's the extent. I'd buy a board from that. <laughs> Not too. There can still be like little things like that. That's about it. <laughs> I thought that heel flip was for me, man. It's almost for you. <laughs> Brandon's shooting 10,000 rounds out of a 1 AK. And in order to do that, we have to pack 10,000 rounds into however many mags. 333 magazines, I believe. 333 mags. Do you buy them fucking thousands of dollars worth of ammunition for a range day, and then you get to guilt trip them into coming back to your house and loading ammo. You're getting toasty. We're about a thousand rounds deep. Or no, we're about to be a thousand rounds deep. So you can have a little water as a treat. Isn't it 22? great to see what we did in like like 10 minutes, gone in like three seconds? <laughs> what, that was like three hours last night we spent loading these. Me and uh, Mr. Ballin, we were in SEAL school at the same time. I was class 292, he was class 293. But, but you quit for Skyro? Yeah, 11-11-11. I pretty much broke my back and I had pneumonia in both lungs. And uh, I'm laying there in the sand and like I had just read on the way to class that morning the Skyrim released. And so on November 11, 2011, I, I was laying there and I'm like, man, I'd rather just hang out with my son and be warm and play Skyrim. And I fucking quit. I was like, I don't want to be a Navy SEAL anymore. I know I worked my ass off for three years to get to this point, but motherfucker, I want to play Skyrim. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I was going to come by and see what cars they have out here because I miss having a fast car. I uh, will eternally regret trading in the Hellcat for the fucking Tesla. Even though the Tesla was fun as shit and it drove itself. Super fun. I just missed my Hellcat. I was talking to Bill Goldberg the other day because, you know, he has a direct sponsor from Dodge. And um, I was, I'm, I'm probably going to buy a Hellcat from Bill Goldberg. I'm also going to do a vlog over at Goldberg's place too. Uh, he's just started his channel, Goldberg's Garage, because he's a huge car guy. And uh, I'm going to go over there and we'll do a tour of his garage, try to, you know, bump some followers over to him. And hopefully he'll sell me one of his Hellcats because I miss having a muscle car super, super bad. And I regret every fucking day. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I think about is like, man, I regret John. But then my second thought is like, man, I regret having a Hellcat, like trading in my Hellcat Super Stock, you know? <laughs> Start just rubbing my balls all over Matt's stuff while he's gone. Quick! No. Did you touch my drum set? Why are you so sweaty? I was watching cops. <laughs> oh Matt, I'm gonna rub my balls all over your things. Why does he have a walker? I'm gonna rub my balls on that too.